Hello Internet, this is Ben with another Mysterious Space Update. Uh, I will talk about exciting things while I play. I'm just going to play and see how long I can go before I die. I'm also going to show something off. I currently have no gamepad plugged into my computer. And previously, Mysterious Space had a problem that many games have. This game no longer has it. A new gamepad has been detected and is ready for use. I have run into games before where you... Ooh, let me turn down that volume just a little where you start a game up and then you're like oh wait i haven't plugged in my game pads and you plug them in and it's like no i don't accept what's this funny new thing so and that drives me crazy because then you're like why well, shut it down i restart it it's a pain in the ass i w would not I, I i could not accept uh mysterious space having that same problem uh, i don't actually care what the story is that was an accident the first time and i just decided to roll with it all right so let's talk while i play and you know i'm going to be dangerous and go as fast as possible uh through these sectors because i want to show off as many mini bosses as possible because they're new and this is an unreleased version uh maybe up front i should say when will i have when will i have the new version ready oh my god i don't know it's really hard to think about let me instead talk about what's been going on recently my computer I like to say exploded. The power supply in the back literally began to spark blue. I mean, first of all, the computer shut down. <laughs> and there were blue sparks and crazy popping noises. And at first I didn't know what was going on. Um, and it's plugged into a battery backup. And the battery backup noticed because then all the devices plugged into it noticed. Like my laptop all of a sudden sprung to life because it was like, oh, my, you know, power situation has changed and the other second monitor I have plugged in turned off and so like all these things were changing around me and I was like oh god like first you know did the power go out no there's still lights is my battery you know and oh wait there's all crazy popping noises and I hadn't quite seen the sparks yet because of the angle I'm at <laughs> um although I quickly did but then I was like is the battery backup you know failing because all these devices are freaking out but they're the only ones uh, and then I really looked over and, and saw the blue sparks coming out of the back of my desktop. And the desktop, like, shut down, and then it tried to start up again, but then it shut down, and I was like, oh my god, I need to stop this before it just destroys everything. So I went around to the back of the computer, and at first I was going to, like, yank the, the power out of the battery backup, but I was like, when it's, you know, I don't know, it's freaking out right now, maybe I shouldn't just pull it directly out of the battery backup maybe that will you know sparks will arc from it or something insane i don't know this is a situation maybe that's a silly thought but this is a situation i i you know ha had not encountered before um so i did something probably stupider more stupid which was to uh the power supply has a little on off switch you know right on the back of it um as power supplies often do when you build your own computer as i often do always do for like a decade now or something um so I just reached my hands toward the sparking, popping power supply to flip off that switch first, which was, you know, in retrospect, probably a worse idea. Once that was off, then I unplugged it. I didn't die. Clearly, here I am. Anyway, so all those things happened. I have just now, as of half an hour ago, <laughs> got the new computer put together and running. Um, Windows was upset because I, I just I took the opportunity to rebuild the computer, partly because... I mean, partly I, I had kind of been wanting to anyway. Um, the previous motherboard sound card had this weird issue, a known issue, that the driver was, the driver manufacturer or whatever, uh, was not fixing. And that is that every, like, every now and again, the, the speakers would start, the sound would start getting staticky. And the problem would not be resolved. Let's see what these do. Uh, bad things. The problem would not be resolved until you opened up the mixer and, like, disabled the the, the sound card and re-enabled it, and then it was good again. It was really stupid. Um, and it didn't happen that often. And, you know, what happens is I wasn't going to buy a new sound card, like a separate sound card. I'm not... I don't know. I'm not such an audiophile that I need to have separate sound cards. You know, I, I don't wear headphones a lot of the time. So, so I didn't, like, super care, you know. Um... Because it was a relatively easy fix, even if it was stupid. Anyway, but that had been bothering me for a while. Anyway, so the thing broke, and so so that was one reason. The other reason I ended up just rebuilding the computer is that um, you know, I posted online to ask people, is is it safe? Because I, 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 I had like, no idea. I was like, okay, the power supply sparked, you know, threw sparks God knows where, and was making crazy popping noise. 
is it possible that other hardware is damaged? I suspect it is. Um, and let's assume that some is. Is it dangerous to plug it in to a new power supply? Um, you know, could I just damage that power supply or other components of the computer that maybe weren't damaged yet? You know, how would I tell which components are damaged? Blah, blah, blah. I posted this on, um, I always want to say Stack Overflow, but that's the, the programming one. I guess Stack Exchange is the general... I can, I can never keep that stuff straight. Anyway, I posted to the hardware version of Stack Exchange, Stack Overflow, whatever. Anyway, I have all the fuel and explored all this planet, so I'm going to get out of here. Um... And people were like, you know, it's hard to say, which in retrospect was like, fine, that's fair, it is hard to say. What is this? A vertical blaster? No, we don't care. Any new shield? Uh, just a basic shield. I'm hoping to show off some new um, equipment as well. Um, you know, our existing armor is depleted, so we will happily take this uh, this, this upgrade somewhat. Uh, and as for upgrades, I will wait, because I would really like a second weapon slot. Uh, and in the interest of going speedy, should I go to the ice planet? I guess I said I was going to go... Well, that's fast, but then slow. Let's just go Let's just go down. And we have a mini-boss, and he's going to be hard. Um, so this is the old mini-boss. Uh, I'm not, like, super well-equipped for this, and that's, you know, my own fault for skipping through sectors, so I had less chances to get well-equipped. I have tweaked him, though, in this release. And I'll get back to rambling about my computer <laughs> later. Uh, I've tweaked him... Because I know you super care, right? You probably don't. Whatever, let's talk about Mysterious Space. I have tweaked him, as I've tried to say a couple times already, so that the more times you destroy an individual part, like, say, those little guns that are going to try and shoot forward at me, each time you destroy it, you make it so that that part regenerates more slowly, if that makes sense. So the longer you fight him, the better your odds get. And I did that because, for this reason, I'm fighting him now and I'm underpowered because I skipped through. So partly that's my fault, but I don't want the game to be punishingly hard because you did that. It should be a viable choice, otherwise why am I giving it to you? So it just may means the fight is longer for you. You cannot blast through his pieces and destroy him immediately like I might be able to if I had twice the firepower. Um, instead, I just have to kind of keep taking out the same parts, and eventually they are regenerating so slowly that I get through. And it shouldn't take, I mean, you know, you shouldn't have to destroy the same part a billion times. There you go. I destroyed it. That was more of a pain in the ass. I feel like that's fair. Again, I've decided to rush through, so that's one of the penalties I accept. Um, on the other hand, we may recall, and I'll show you on that st scoring screen again. Was the scoring screen out last update? God, I can't remember. Anyway, it will show me, because I'm taking a quicker path, I'm going to get a multiplier to my points. So, you know, again, it was harder, um, and that was one of the ways in which it was harder. So I'm going to be rewarded with more points for it. Anyway, uh, the wind, I think it's probably better to go with the wind rather than fight it. So, <laughs> about my computer. Anyway, so, the question then became in my mind, is it worth using existing components and then, you know, damaging new ones, and I thought, no, I, I kind of already wanted to buy a new... I was thinking of buying a double-wide monitor, which is, like, pure ridiculous opulence. Like, what do you need a double-wide monitor for? You honestly don't. I've already got two. Um, the second one is another computer, but its primary use now <laughs> is as a second monitor. Uh, it's sometimes used for LAN games and for having friends over to play LOL, but anyway... Uh, yeah, so I so I was like, fine, we don't need to buy a stupid second monitor. We really don't anymore, because uh, we need to fix this computer uh, and, and just get a new computer. So anyway, Windows hates when you get a new computer. And I, I preserved the hard drive. So I tested the hard drives out in an older machine, um, and uh, they, they did not blow up that machine. So I was like, all right, the hard drives are probably fine. Um, they didn't look visibly damaged on the outside, but most of the components are hidden behind metal, so I was unsure how to look into that. Anyway, so I plugged it into a different machine, <laughs> being super cautious, uh, and Windows just started up on that computer, and it was awesome. Um, and the hard drives all seem to work, and they're continuing to work in this new computer. So that's cool. Uh, so yeah, those are the only same part, the only the only parts kept over from the old machine. Oh man, those guys are getting... Did you see that? There's like two of them stacked on top. Oh my god, I cannot deal with the slowness when there's this wind. Let's see what I got here. Destroys all enemies on screen. I will take it. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Um, ooh, oh, God. Okay, well, that was a new enemy, a beehive, <laughs> that spawns on forest worlds and on desert worlds, specific to those, to those planet types. Uh, if you run into it, no bees emerge, but if you shoot it dead, uh, bees emerge. 
uh, and the bees. Well, maybe I won't run into it next time and we can see what the bees are like. Anyway, uh, yeah, so Windows hates when you plug it into new hardware, and I have dealt with that before. Uh, a long time ago, I had a motherboard uh, legitimately die. I don't know exactly what happened to it. It decided it was done starting up anymore. Uh, so I bought a, a totally new motherboard, and you cannot buy, you know, it had already been a couple years, they're not selling the same motherboard anymore, and even if they were, why would you buy it? So I bought a new motherboard, everything else was the same, but Windows was like, whoa, are you pirating this copy of Windows that seems to be installed on a new computer? So I called up and talked to a human, and I was like, yeah, I pro that's weird. Um, oh, look at that, he got spawned, oh, look at what happened, I want to show you. So, the beehives only spawn on the cactuses and trees and okay he's a little like off of the cactus arm we can see that but the problem is he was like oh yeah that's an arm of the cactus i'll just place myself there but that arm of the cactus is poking into a wall so the beehive is completely inaccessible which is ridiculous um that's okay we'll just ignore it that's a bug i can fix later anyway so when i that happened the first time um to me where windows was like err I called up and talked to a human and was like, yeah, I, I built this computer, I, I had to replace the motherboard. Um, and so they said, okay, that's a good enough reason for us. I mean, you know, I don't know, I feel like they asked me one other question about it, but they were, they were pretty... It was easier than I expected, you know, I expected them to be like, no, you gotta buy a new copy. We were like, okay, it's an OEM copy, I always get them because they're cheaper and I know I'm not, you know, if I did buy... Uh, I really thought about it. I actually I, I actually bought Windows 8 because I thought I'll install Windows 8 on this computer. I'm still using 7. And then I decided not to. So actually, I've already paid for new copy Windows. So they win anyway. I mean, technically, you could say, hey, you bought a new computer. You know, I did replace more than I needed to. But again, maybe? I don't know. It's a weird issue. So anyway, when I called them this time, it was basically the same thing. They're all the bees. Uh, I didn't talk to a human this time. But they were like, how many computers have you installed this copy Windows on? And I'm like... Like, I paused, and it was an automated voice, so I hesitated, because I was like, well, it is kind of a second computer, but it is a replacement, and, you know, it's an it's an OEM thing, it's only supposed to be for one computer, and so, so I hesitated, and the computer voice was like, how many, you know, it repeated itself, and I was like, uh, one? <laughs> and they accepted that, so the little automated voice... Uh, thing accepted that answer apparently. So I don't know if that's the answer they wanted or if they were going to accept anything. I have no idea. Or if it was like, I don't know, some sort of verification question. I really have no idea what the point of that was. Anyway, I think I've got all the upgrades and everything, so let's get out of here. So anyway, it's here again. Um, I should not have bought Windows 8. I don't know why I did that. Maybe I'll see if a friend needs it. Um, but I was like, I'm not going to update to Windows 8. I'll just wait till Windows 10 comes out, because that's coming out soon enough. Um, and I will wait until the first service pack. I always do that, because I do not trust that the first release is good. Anyway, so this is what I was talking about, except I wasn't. So I went, this is now the normal route, so my difficulty modifier is just 100%. I don't get a bonus for this level. Um, I did for the previous level, and you probably saw it, and I forgot to talk about it. Anyway, here's all the great enemies I killed. I talked so long that it took me 12 minutes, and it's not quite properly <laughs> formatting that time. It, the levels are not supposed to take that long. Um, but let's see. I would prefer... Let, okay, let's, let's, let's get another weapon, and let's see if we can find any new equipment for you guys to check out. Ah, uh, not really. New shields? Whoops. Fires two bullets per second in random directions. These okay, so angry shields have been changed. They can fire more than two bullets per second. It used to be, I think it said fires twice per second, it used to say. Um, but now they can fire, I think, up to five bullets per second. Um, but when it does more than two bullets a second, the damage of each bullet is reduced. So at three bullets per second, the damage we halved at four would be thirded or whatever. So the more bullets you fire, the less damage they each deal. Um, it's a faster shield, it absorbs a little less damage, but regenerates faster, and it fires bullets. So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's see if we got new armor I can show off. No, okay, so if we're killing that guy before the mini-boss, I get regenerating armor. He always drops regenerating armor, uh, unless you've never defeated him before, in which case he drops the blueprint for, I think, adaptive software or alien scanners. I don't remember. I think adaptive software. I don't think alien scanners you need a a blueprint for. Anyway, so I already have that, so he dropped uh, regenerating armor. So let's go ahead and take his regenerating army armor. Yeah, and faster shield recharge? Sure, make, make it even faster. And let's see what accessory you got. 
Hull repair bots. Well, okay, that's cool. Those are cool. Uh, there are a couple new uh, accessories, and you know what? So let's 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 just do a little thing. Let's do the Konami code, um, and show off some some new stuff. So let's see if we can find alien teleport. That's precisely what I wanted. It teleports you to a random location on the planet. Let's try it out. Um, let's check out a new weapon of some kind. Yeah, I know that text bleed. Look at how that text bleeds. It's not good. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. Don't show off the bad things, game. All right, fires four angled bullets. Okay, so the split blasters used to only shoot two bullets. Now they can shoot anywhere from two to six. Um, and the more they shoot, the less damage each one deals, of course. Uh, it keeps it within a pretty narrow arc, so you hopefully hit a lot of things. That's fine. Let's see if we got any cool, cool shields. Desperate shield. Um, so while your shield is emptied, your weapon's fire rate is doubled, is, is what the effect is trying to be. There aren't a lot of reasons that your shield would remain empty, uh, unless you have that artifact that empties your shields. Um, so this bonus, I think, Im applies only a very small, like, lots of shields, because they have an effect, they have less shielding power, or regenerate a little more slowly, or something like that. This one I gave a very minimal effect, because it's a very situational sort of bonus. I, I, I wanted to make it to kind of maybe give a use to that artifact that says empty your shields, or to make it a less bad thing when it happens to happen to you. And maybe there will be other things in the future that empty your shields, and then you'd be like, sweet, I've got a desperate shield, it's good. Um, but still, when your shields are first emptied, or if you're under constant fire, this could be a useful thing. Or if you're in lava, actually, now that I think, I did not think about that before. If you're in lava, and once your shields are emptied, you'll maintain, because your shields cannot regenerate, this doubled fire rate. So there you go. It's got some, some again, it's very situational, so I, I made it apply only a very small sort of penalty to the other stats. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Overcharge shield is another new one. Uh, it makes your temporary shields that you gain more effective. Um, that percent stronger bonus is, is random. It can be either 30, 50, or 70, and it, um, I think it makes the shield regenerate more slowly or, or something, uh, the more powerful that effect is. So, And these are all high-level equipments because I did the Konami code. Um, anyway, let's go ahead. Sure, let's use the overcharge shield. Um, let's see what kind of armor we've got. I don't know that I've added any new armors. React, no, reactive is the same. This one gives us um, a temporary shield, so that might be a cool thing to use in combination with an overcharge shield. That was an intentional combo there. Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure there are new armors, but I'm just not seeing them. I've made some tweaks to existing armors. Um, like the... Um, I love the angry armor can can fire off different numbers of bolts, same with the angry shields, and there's been some other shield tweaks. But anyway, let's uh, let's just go ahead and go into a level with this equipment. Here's my fragmenting split blaster, so you can each each orange shot is shooting off little little white shots, which is exciting. And I don't remember what kind of shield I got. Overcharge with reactive armor. Well, we should try it out. Let's take some damage. Uh, uh. Oh wow, that was so much damage that I also drained my temporary shield. Man, that almost seems unfair. Well, they don't move, that's why. There we go, so there's my little temporary shield. And so what is the... It says that it should be equal to 33% my shield strength. That temporary shield there is clearly bigger than a third of my shield bar. So my, my reactive, or sorry, my overcharge shield seems to be working. And that's the maximum overcharge shield we can get. So fun little thing. Let's try and teleport. Let's let's just go somewhere deep underground and let's teleport. <gasps> That's a terrible bug. <laughs> I haven't had that happen before. Um, the camera is supposed to instantly go to you, but it's because we crossed the seam of the level. Like, you, you can see my X coordinate because, um, uh, because we're in debugging mode. And you can see it found that the shortest path See how we loop around? We're at the seam of the level there, the, the X coordinate in the upper right. Um, so it's because of the wraparound being the shortest path that it ended up doing that. I've had that problem in other places before. Let's see if we can like do it again and have that not happen. Because <laughs> it's not supposed to uh, do that. And I'll fix that bug before release, of course. That's why I do these things, honestly, because I test, but 
You never know. All right, one second. Boom! Again? Am I crazy? Maybe I changed something that introduced this bug. I have no idea. So anyway, but you get the idea. We'll teleport. The camera should not take that long to catch up to you. That is clearly awful. Um, and I think I've showed off kind of enough. Again, I was hoping to show off some mini bosses, but I kind of died. I don't want to make this video take forever. Um, I would have to get way. I would have to do really well and get way ahead. So I don't know. New equipment, uh, new enemies like those bees. I also didn't make a big deal of them, but maybe I should have. Um, there are now the, those guys who shoot in four directions. You may have noticed that some of them, their little arms point diagonally, like at 45 degree angles. Uh, so that is, they're rarer than the, than the normal ones, um, but they're just like a variety of them. So any level that, that has those, you know, the very early levels, you can, you can get those guys. Um, and I'm just trying to add a little variety to the early game enemies. Same with adding the bees. I'm also going to add, um, and I've drawn up plans for this guy, sort of like not a mini boss. So mini bosses currently are pre-placed on the level, right? They, they show up on the mini map. They're holding one of the fuel. They're kind of like a big deal. Um, and not as big a deal as a, as a for real full-fledged boss will be whenever I, whenever, uh, th that's going to be a, a, a joint effort between me and, and my boss at work. Uh, at, my, at my day job, he's going to code the AI for those guys. Oh, there was one of those quad, quad blasters. Anyway, so I've made a new type of enemy that's going to rarely spawn. Um, and they'll be big. They'll be a little bit bigger and noticeable. They're not going to be as big as mini bosses, But, you know, they'll be a deal. This guy will suddenly show up on screen, and uh, he'll do some different things. And so it's just, a, I don't know, another way to add more variety to the sorts of encounters you have on the planet. Um one of the biggest complaints I've heard is that there aren't enough monster types, and I agree, there aren't. Uh, and especially when you're playing these first few levels, it's kind of the same thing every time. It's like, you know, starting a, a normal roguelike. I always hesitate to really compare this to roguelikes at this point because it's gone so far afield. But, you know, you, at the first level you're always fighting the goblins or whatever, but, but they do manage to make things different. You have those unique enemies that show up, you know, the named guys that keep popping up. Um, they, they find ways to add interest, uh, ghosts of your from your previous lives, other things like that, that maybe, you know, that would be kind of interesting. Should I have, you know, a previous ship of yours show up and it fights you? We could do weird things like that, like you see in other roguelikes. Um, but they do try and do things like that to make the first levels more interesting, and, and, that, and for good reason. You will, it is a game where you are meant to die, and Mysterious Space is no different in that regard. It shares that roguelike quality. Um, so you know, for the same reasons, we need the first levels to be interesting. It can't just be the same thing every time, again and again and again. So, I'm trying to add variety there. I will show screenshots later. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I'm not quite sure how long this video has gone at this point. It tells me somewhere. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, but yes, thank you for watching. Thank you for playing. I'm super happy to have my computer back. It also makes it easier for me to develop. I've been continu t continuing development on my work laptop. <laughs> it's been like my, my computer I use while I was waiting for the, the parts for this new desktop. Um, I, laptops, I do not like laptops, um, that is why I build desktops, y you know, the touchpad, I use a mouse anyway, the keyboard's small and funny, whatever, this is much better, I'm in like my happy development environment now, so hopefully progress will, will continue forward at a, at a good pace, and I will, um, have an update before too long, and I'll let you know when I know, again, I'm just like, it's been such a weird few days, I'm having difficulty thinking when will I have this next release, ready and done. I don't know. I need to kind of regather my thoughts, look at my progress, um, and then I'll let you guys know as soon as I, as soon as I do. So anyway, it's always this outro rambling. I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> it's, it's my way. I don't know, but so sorry, and thank you for watching, and thank you for, for playing and being interested, and for the feedback. Um, it's great to have people remind me, hey, the beginning game is boring, because it's easy for me to, as the developer, to just learn, oh, that's just how it is, you know, and keep programming other things. So it's great to hear that stuff. Um, positive and, and negative feedback both are so useful. So, so thank you for that as well. Um, goodbye. <laughs>